Right, star date 4162. We're on the bridge with Captain. You are loving this because you think you're on um, I do, I think star I'm on the bridge. Trek. Look how cute this little thing is. So this tiny little thing here. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning, guys. Did you sleep well? I actually slept really well. It's that night after the hangover <laughs> where you sleep like a log. Where you feel a lot better. Yeah, you do feel a lot better. Well, our room services came. We've ordered it. We're super excited. We're going to have that now. $5 charge, or if you buy something that's $5, like juice, there's no delivery charge. So it's great. So we've ordered lots of tasty food. Should we go have it? Yeah, that's a good little tip, that, Ben. Let's Order go. yourself a juice. Oh my God, how amazing does this look? I just love how it comes packaged. We have never seen anything like this on a cruise ship before. It came in two little bags with beautiful like, cutlery and hardware and juices and coffee and it smells and looks spectacular. You need to order room service either on the day and it takes about half an hour or you can pre-order it like we did before 2 a.m. last night uh, to be delivered at a certain time, all done on the app. They don't even knock on your door. They just leave it outside and you get a message on your phone saying it's here. So you don't even have to talk to anybody in your morning state. Now, what shall I try first? We've got some banana stuffed French toast with bacon, American or Canadian bacon. And oh my God, does it look incredible. I mean, what an amazing start to the day. As I said, some things are extra charged like the juices, but you just buy them instead of paying the delivery charge, which is $5. So it's great. Banana Nutella stuffed French toast. Now, oh my gosh, that is life. I am done. My life is complete. Bacon and Nutella and bananas and fruit and toast. Wonderful. What an amazing plate of fruit. I know, it's so beautifully pretty. And you're going to destroy it. And we've got scrambled eggs with sausage and breakfast potatoes and some lovely little pastries as well, which look delightful. And it's very flaky. Oh, a bit like me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat with your mouth cup full. Oh, a bit of bitter coffee. A bit of coffee. The most important part of the day. And they come in like flasks as well, so they're really hot still. It, yeah, the flask and a strainer, so it's like proper coffee, isn't it? Yeah. It's delicious. But um, it's nice because I think you get about a cup and a half in each flask. So me and Ben have ordered one each and um, it'll stay nice and warm for like an hour. Yep, we're going to finish this up, eat it all up. Then we've got some work to do. So we need to edit some photos and we've got to uh, finish editing another video. But then after this, we're going to take you up to the galley, which is the alternative buffet and show you what it's like. Now, we would have ate outside, but look at the state of this weather. Typical British weather in the middle of August. Yes, I can imagine being in the Caribbean, watching the sunset, having a lovely meal out here or pre-dinner drinks with friends. It'd be so wonderful. Well, hello, kind people, and welcome on a tour of the galley. First up, hot off the press with fresh sandwiches and toasts and sweets and lots of goodies. Next up, noodle around, serving fresh ramen and lovely miso dishes. Next door we have one of the multiple drink service areas. It's all self-serve with Coca-Cola freestyle machines, juices and all of that jazz. It's all complimentary. You can get coffee and tea as well. And just next to that we have Taco About It serving various different types of taco. And one thing that we really loved was the cute little cart with ice lollies or icicles or icicle pops or whatever you call them over in the States. Next to that we have the all day breakfast served at Diner and Dash. Now this is open to the very early hours of the morning serving breakfast food. Next door we have the burger bar serving vegan and normal burgers. Absolutely blooming delicious. And just next door, the well-bred section, serving tasty treats, pizzas, flatbreads, lovely croissants and donuts. Treat yourself. Next door is the sweet side, serving an amazing amount of beautiful cakes. They are absolutely stunning. Now, you might be asking yourself, how is this different to a normal buffet? Well, it is. It's like street food and it's all freshly prepared. Including the daily mix, there's a huge selection of salad. You can pick to make your own or get one of the made-up versions as well. You also have the bento box, which serves lots of different sushi. Again, all complimentary in the price, as well as a big grab and go area. Loads of sandwiches, salads, cheese plates, all of that jazz. Delicious. 
So we finished all of our work. We got loads of videos and photos edited and all that jazz. But my tummy's rumbling a little bit now. So we're going to go head down to the dock house. So we're going to get some mezze plates, I think, David, aren't we? Starving. I'm You're not, starving. Well, I'm not starving because that was quite a big breakfast this morning, but it has been five hours, so it's been far too long on a ship that we haven't ate. And there is loads of healthy options on this ship, we just haven't tried any of them. <laughs> There is, there is a gym. There, there is, is a free, gym. There is free exercise classes. Yeah, all of the exercise classes on yeah. board are free as well, which is really fantastic. We just haven't tried any. Yeah. And there's some really interesting ones like uh, jumping yoga and random VHS 80s tapes where you get all of the, the 80s armbands and things on and get going. Very good themed classes, but unfortunately it's just... I it's, can't be bothered. I <laughs> can't be bothered. Right, let's go eat. Come on, come with us again. That's what we're famous for, eating. Let's do it. My God, just got the shock of my life. So we're just pressed for the lift and two guys come out to, um, with the lift shaft half open. They're doing maintenance and they thought it'd be funny to give us a shock. I didn't film it either. My heart's racing. That was hilarious. I was so confused because there was no lift there. And they there was were just no like lift. hanging there. And I was like, what? So like he peeked through. Oh my gosh, it was so creepy, but so funny. That's the virgin way, isn't it? Even the maintenance people are bloody hysterical. Everybody's a comedian. So the menu in here, it's yeah. a mezze cart that there is a few around and they come around and you can choose like small dishes, they're all like small bites, but they also have a grill as well. So they do like grilled shrimp, grilled chickens and uh, some polentas and things like that. So we've got a selection of mezze pla uh, plats, plats to start with. So we've got uh, beetroot hummus with some tortilla chips, we've got melon and then we've got a salad with another type of baba ganoush. It all sounds lovely. I'm going to try some of this hummus with some of the chip. So it's a, a beetroot hummus, so it's very pink, very tasty. So who doesn't love watermelon with feta cheese on a salad form? Oh, Meg Ryan, that's got some spice to it. Oh, spicy melons, who doesn't love that? Oh, you've got to love spicy melons. Now I'm going to try the baba ganoush salad and I am ashamed to say, this is the first salad we have tried on this sailing. Is that terrible. shocking, isn't it? shocking. Baba ganoush is super lovely. Really flavourful and all the uh, lots and lots of veg. Very crispy, very fresh and looks very pretty. So our fire grill main course have arrived. Lovely small plate. So this is a great option if you want like a light lunch like us because we ate so much for breakfast. I got the uh, chicken thigh. Wonderful. Tastes like barbecue on a cruise ship. Such a shame the weather isn't nice today, but it's really lovely in here to sit in here. It feels very Mediterranean, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. We could be in Spain or Italy or somewhere much nicer than the UK. Wonderful food. I got the prawns or the shrimp, and it comes with a garlic yogurt and a uh, butter as well. Really tasty. I really like the, uh, the garlic butter at the bottom. That's really nice. But yeah, it's nice for like a nice light bite. And to be honest, you can get as many as you want. You can order the whole menu if you want, if you wanted to try every single one of them. Another option for lunch as well is the pizza place. They do uh, salad boxes and freshly baked pizzas. They're really, really tasty. And it's a, every day they have a different menu of different pizzas that are available that day. I am absolutely stuffed. Should we go find something to do? Let's do it. That was wonderful. Really good. And after all that, if you fancy a sweet treat, you must try out Lick Me Till Ice Cream. It's an amazing gelato bar and it's all included in the price. Yummy muck scrummy. There's sweet treats all around the ship as well. You just can't hide from all the food. So we've came up to the bridge of the ship with, um, it's really cool, it's really like special experience that we've been given. The last time we were on this bridge was in the Genoa shipyard and um, the ship was still been built. So we've actually been able now to see this as the complete the it's complete thing. It's so cool. It's all electronic. Yeah. And it's all, the whole ship is ran to be as efficient as possible, which is really cool to save as much fuel and uh, a less impact as possible. And, and we huge. get some amazing views. Yeah, it's absolutely massive. So we're on one of the side wings at the moment. And this is the section that they use to control the ship when it's coming into port. So if we're coming in on this side, they'll stand over here and Whoa. they can get <laughs> glass. <laughs> they can get a view of literally all around so obviously you've got a window here you can view the front but you can even view at the bottom so that they can see all the way down to the sea with this amazing glass floor and i can't believe how small the controls are yeah so just for this huge gigantic ship these two controls are the two controls that they use to turn the azipods to bring the ship into port it's now this it's like star trek ship, isn't yeah, it yeah it's just controlled by them two two little things there 
and then there's all lots of screens and lots of technology and um, this is awesome they can see all around with all the the cameras and stuff but this is really really cool and it's gigantic so should we have a look at the main section yes. as well let's go Come. Cool, and just behind us we have the flag section. How cool is this? So they've got all different types of flags for every situation, and all of the ports they're gonna visit, Jamaica, St. Kitts, Malta, Puerto Rico, Portugal, New York. How cool is that? David, you like flags, don't you? I do, yes. It's a fun with flags with Ben. But it's so cool. It's a really, really awesome. I love this. Should we move on and have a look at the main part of the bridge now? Let's go. Let's go, let's go and find the gigantic wheel that steers the ship. Should, should we find the captain's chair? Should we take the con? <laughs> Let's do it. You think you're on Star Trek, don't I think you? I'm on Star Trek, honestly. This is freaking awesome. I'm a geek and I like Star Trek, so this is literally like being on the bridge. Over to you, number one. Right, star date 4162. We're on the bridge with Captain. You are loving this because you think you're on um, I do, I think Star I'm on the bridge. Trek. Wait, where are you taking us, David? I'm just positioning us uh, towards Portsmouth at the moment. Behind uh, Sky Princess. Behind Sky Princess, yeah. We are going to beat her. We're going to take, we'll overtake her in a few moments. Oh, just a bit to the uh, to the port side. You're okay. doing well, crew. Thank you, guys. Yeah, well. you're doing very well. Did David, do you want a coffee? Oh, yeah, I could get used to this. Oh, it's a hard life, isn't it? It is, yeah. How long have you been here, David? Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, so this is the safety centre and I have not seen anything like it. It truly is Star Trek, honestly, it really is. Or like the situation room you were seeing in the White House. Yeah, it does. It feels <laughs> like that with all of the desks and stuff, but literally every single thing can be controlled from here. Cameras, fire detectors, the lot. It is so advanced, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely amazing. What a space, how cool is this? Right, should we, um, should we take this bad boy for a spin? Go on Let's then, do it. Oh, this chair's very high. This is awesome, so I'm in the core nav chair of the bridge and it is honestly the best views ever. Look how cute this little thing is. So this tiny little thing here. Ben, do, 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 do. <gasps> Sorry. No, you this, can touch this it. This tiny little thing here can steer the ship. I mean, how amazing is that? I think when you think of bridges, you think of like a huge wheel, but no, it's all technology now and cool screens with information. It's all very technical and looks very difficult to do. It's, it's really overwhelming, but fantastic to be here. It's such a cool place to be. But yeah, thank you so much to the, all of the amazing crew for letting us have a look around. Thank you and guys. <laughs> taking the ship for a spin, it's, it's been really awesome. So, right, let's go grab a cocktail now. No drink driving here. Let's go. After the quick cocktail, it's time to get ready for Scarlet Night, where you're encouraged to wear a splash of red. We head to see the incredible show in the Red Room called Dual Reality. It's incredible. The performers are superb. It's a really high energy and very emotional show. We absolutely love every moment. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Something completely different to what we've ever seen on a cruise ship before. The performers are so super talented, I just can't even get into how they did, they did some of those things. It was a Romeo and Juliet type tale story, uh, done through dance and some amazing acrobatics and singing and dancing and even playing a guitar. It was amazing and the audience get involved. There's two different sides, a red side and a blue side. And it's sort of the Romeo and Juliet love story. And some of the stunts were so crazy, I was clutching at my pearls the whole time and I pulled them so hard they burst went all over the stage and tripped all the performers over. Uh, ben, what the hell are you talking about? That, that didn't really that happen, did not but I just ha had visions of that happening. But uh, lots of entertainment on tonight for Scarlet Night. We're going to go see the amazing Abby the Hostess, who's the hostess on board the ship, and she's going to put on a lovely show for us in the manor. So should we head over? Let's go. It's just a few steps away. And we're going to be showing you that amazing entrance again. It's probably the most Instagram-worthy place on the ship. It's yeah. nuts. And like a maze, the amount of times we've ran into the walls and the glass walls oh, and got lost is it's insane. It's a bloody nightmare when you're trying to find the toilet and you're desperate and you're in. trying to find it and you're like which way is it first world problems eh it's shocking Come on, guys it's already started oh this is magical <laughs> i hear champagne and hide your husbands as we welcome to the stage abby the hostess <laughs> Every day, 
she was cheeky, she was naughty, and she was a little bit sexy. Bloody hell, Abby, you are fantastic. She's the new Jim McDonald. What a fantastically hilarious and funny show. Guess what we saw as well? A proposal. Now it's time for dinner at Pink Agave. Starving, need some Mexican in me. We haven't eaten Mexican food for years, have we? No, no. Let's go, I'm really hungry, but Abby, what a bloody star. You have to go check her out on the ship. Now, dinner time, let's go. Guys, so we've came into the Mac shop to see Lucy from Cruising as Crew. Hi! She is amazing. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, do it now. We'll pop a link in the we'll description below. section below. She's the loveliest person. Yeah, so if you want to find out what it's like being crew on a ship, check out her channel. Yeah, it's some really interesting stuff, especially during lockdown and coming back on the ship. We've already watched it all, haven't we? It's yeah. fab. But time for dinner now. We'll see you around, Lucy. Lovely to see you again. Have a good night. Yeah, thank you. See you later. See you later. <laughs> so we're here in Pink Agave for our Mexican meal. I mean, how cool is this place? If you need an Instagrammable spot, spot, this is your place. It is pretty damn cool in here. Let's go. I'm really hungry and I'm really looking forward to this one because it's one of the restaurants we didn't get to try last time. So let's go eat, guys. It's a Mexican rest restaurant with small plates, medium plates and large plates. We're going to be eating lots of plates, I think, David, aren't we? Bring all the plates. Bring, we'll be spinning plates by the end. Bring every plate possible. We will happily eat it. So we're going to order some drinks and then get our food. We're really excited. Goodness gracious, great nuts of fire. They are hot. We've been brought out some lovely little uh, peanuts and little snacky bits. And they're really hot, but they're really tasty as well. Nutty about these um, pre-starters. So for our first plate, we got the uh, traditional, the guacamole, and this was recommended by our server. And then one of our lovely subscribers also recommended the corn dish that Ben got. We're going to share, obviously. But one thing I've noticed that I've just spotted is how cool are these? They're like oh my god, they're awesome. And how beautiful does the food look? The guacamole it looks, looks guaca tasty. It looks incredible, it really does. Shall I go in for a dip? Go in for a dip, dip it in David, get as much of that guacan goodness on there. Bit of dipage, I do love my guacamole. The little bits of, um, I think it, is it pomegranate? Are really tasty on the guacamole. It really adds like a little pop of flavour in there. Oh, I can't resist trying this guacamole before I try mine. Let's have a taste. Oh, holy moly, guacamole. That is a winner. Gonna try the corn now. Like David said, one of our lovely subscribers recommended this. They had it last night. That is a bloody taste sensei. Oh my god, that is, that's bloody good. Oh my lord. It's got like cheese sauce, limes, lemons. It's sweet, sour, savoury. We love how all of the restaurants are themed and beautiful. All of the different uniforms and things like that. It's something that's really unique and fantastic. And it's one of the things we love about Virgin. Our next courses came, it's our medium course. So we've ordered two small courses, two medium, too large. I think I've ordered way too much food because I don't think I'm going to be able to eat all of this. Um, you Mexican. Oh, well done. Don't be a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> be a Mexican. So I got the um, spicy uh, chorizo potatoes and they come with a nice sprinkling of chilies. Red hot chili peppers. That is trying to, do, trying, trying to get on in Ben's territory now. Oh, he's, 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 he's going on my territory, guys. <laughs> the potatoes are super fluffy, really tasty, and I absolutely love the coating that they've got on them. I'm going to give it a try. They look wonderful. I do like a good enchilada. Funny story, we went for a job interview once, and they asked what my weaknesses and my strengths were. I said eating a full enchilada in one bite for both, and I got the job. Oh my God, for the love of Mexico City. That is delicious, absolutely wonderfully tasty. You are competition in the kitchen. You are a wonderful roast potato. Oh, I might be a loser tonight, David. These are, these are pretty damn good. So David, our main big wow. dishes have came and they weren't kidding, they are big. They are, and they are a work of art. They look absolutely beautiful. Spectacular. So I got the uh, sea bass fish and Ben got the pork and uh, Ben's came with a lovely bowl of tortilla so he can assemble his creation himself. The sauce on the outside is so full of flavor. I think it's like avocado. Fish is really well cooked. It's got a kick. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, and I got the slow roasted pork. It's three peaks of pork. 
with some um, lovely bread. Bread? What's it called again? I forgot what the bread's called. Tortilla wraps. Tort tortilla wraps. Oh, I'm alive, by the way. I'm oh, alive. yeah, David survived. It was just a sesame seed. Went down the wrong way and caused a, a non-COVID cough. Let's have a quick um, try of this one. A taste explosion in your mouth. It is absolutely wonderful. Highly recommend this restaurant. We've done them all now over our two cruises. This is the last one we're trying. So since we've done them all, favourite? Razzle Dazzle. Just purely for the crazy quirkiness of it all. How about you? Oh, I think uh, experience wise, uh, the barbecue is really fun. Oh, it was so Korean oh barbecue. God. Guys, we got so drunk in that last episode. Honestly, we had about seven shots. Oh, e gosh, it's going to be hard to fit a dessert in after that. It's huge. Just to say, menus, they're not QR codes. They are real menus. There is a QR code, though, if you want one on here. Or you can check it out on the app as well. So you can check out the menus at any time on the app which is a lovely feature because we like to have a quick look but before we decide what we want to, where we want to eat and what dishes we want to try. It's the best part of any cruise is the food and this has been fun, bloody tastic. Right, so we've got the dessert course now and the lovely chef is a subscriber apparently so he thought he'd bring us another dessert. So we've got three desserts because that's just what we need, more bloody food. He saw us and thought, them two boys need feeding. At the start of the meal we said we Mexican so we are going to do this for you and for the lovely chef thank you so much for the amazing food it's been fantastic I've got the chocolate tacos um, and we've got a pineapple one with pineapple and passion fruit and puff pastry and the one in the middle I'm not sure what it is I think it's a bread pudding yes it, it was the bread pudding wonderful right let's have a try I'm breaking the um, the tacos it's got a, a cherry sauce it's wonderful it's very light it's like a, a creamy mousse Mexican chocolate oh Thank you very much. Wonderful. Oh, you're going to try the bread pudding first, David. Are you going to do a double dessert? A double dessert on the same fork? Or is that just, is that wrong? So the top gives it a really nice crunch. Really nice, lovely ice cream. And the bread pudding is packed full of flavour. And the waiters are very naughty. They keep bringing everybody extra food that we haven't ordered. But it's very appreciated and it's very yummy. I've tried all three desserts now. The chocolate tacos, I think, are the nicest by far. So time to finish up, then we're going to head off and uh, enjoy Scarlet Night on Scarlet Lady. I'm excited for this, are you? Yes. More drink, David, can you handle it? I can handle it. I'm Mexican. I feel a little bit better after we've had a few beers now. We were feeling a little bit rough earlier on. But once we're back on the on the horse, or the on the horse, what is it called? We're back on the the wagon. Back on the wagon. Go back on the no, horse. You're off the wagon. Off the wagon. I don't know. We're off the wagon or we're on the wagon. It doesn't matter. We're, we're we're gonna have a good time anyway. Oh my god, so full. But we're got, not gonna stop now because we're gonna head to the Scarlet Party. Oh, he's walking backwards. Oh, yeah, anything can happen. <laughs> you just see me thinking. Anything can happen. Like thinking. Like. Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> Right, let's go. Party time. Party time. So it is usually up on the decks, but of course the beautiful British weather was just too sunny and delicious for them. Not. It's been awful up there, so we've decided, we, they've decided to uh, do it inside. <laughs> we've decided? Yeah. yeah. Did like you make an executive decision, David? Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, so it's in the red room uh, at the back of the ship. Let's go. It's very on brand. <laughs> The Red Room is such a fantastic venue, it converts from a theatre to an arena to a nightclub. We had lots of fun dancing away to some cheesy tunes, a great way to end our amazing cruise. Oh my gosh, is that an amazing party or what? I Honestly, love the music. It's just after midnight, I've got to say, can't do it. Too much alcohol last night. Scarlet Lady, you have killed me. Honestly, what a fantastic night though. We've had such an amazing time. The entertainment is so much fun. Seriously, it's something so refreshing and different in a really good way. And we're so glad to have met many of our subscribers, lots of seasoned cruisers who said it's so good. We are so happy to hear that. We're so happy because we do love little Scarlet Lady. But David, I think it's time for bed to you. Yes. Oh, just noticed going back to the cabin that the lights in the aisles have turned red for Scarlet Lady Red Night. How cool is that? We've got a very long trek all the way to the back of the ship from the very front of the ship because the elevators and lifts are at the extremes, so they're not towards the mid. So it's nice and really handy to get places, but bloody hell, it's a long way back, especially when your cabin's the very back one. Yeah. 
Eesh, it's like a blooming marathon. It actually looks like it's curved. So <laughs> it's that far. It's like curvature of the earth. Well, it's actually good for us because when we ate so much food, it's a little bit of exercise because I still don't know where the gym is. Lots of free classes, but I haven't done any feel a bit guilty. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our videos. Please do hit that subscribe button and hit the like button because it really helps us out to create extra free content for you. Next week, we're going to be on the Sky Princess. We can't wait to bring you that. Yeah, so excited to be back on that ship. Thank you as well to all of our patrons. It's because of your support that we're able to continue making content for this channel. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can find out about it in the link. You can find out about it in the description section below. That was a really hard sentence to say. You can do. <laughs> That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. Right. All of this parting like a rock star. I need my bed. Do you, David? And me too. All oh. this throwing TVs out the windows. Oh, smashing and... guitars. Yeah. All of that jazz. I'm knackered. Such a good time, though.